selling on your website versus selling on Amazon's website. Which one is better? Which one will make you more money? Let's go through the pros and cons of this. Before we get started, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you like videos on Amazon or print on demand or affiliate marketing or just generally making money online. Click that subscribe button because if you're not already subscribed, then what are you doing? Time to get subscribed. And if you already sell on Amazon or you sell on your website, then give this video a thumbs up so I can get a good understanding of who is doing what. So let's go straight into it with the pros of selling on Amazon. And I've got my whole long list here on my computer because I can't keep everything in my head and that's very understandable. Um, I'm not a genius of any sort. So the pros of selling on Amazon. Well, you can tap into Amazon's hundreds of millions of customers, right? Just like that, for free. They are there shopping anyway. Amazon gets millions of views every single day to their website. They are there. So by selling on Amazon, you're able to access all of those customers. The second thing is Amazon has incredible customer support. I don't know if you know this, but Amazon's customer support is probably one of the best in the world. You could pretty much call up with any problem that you have and they will help you. They will refund you. They will ask you, like they'll tell you, you don't, don't have to send it back to us. They're just so good. So when you sell on Amazon, you get that customer support really for your products. Amazon has an insane trust level, right? So with everyone buying from Amazon all the time, people trust Amazon way more than they're gonna trust your website. People searching, if they find something on Amazon, they 100% trust it a lot more than they're gonna trust any website because Amazon has built up this immense level of customer satisfaction and amazing, amazing trust. Obviously, you'll also get access to Amazon Prime. So if you're selling your products on Amazon through Amazon FBA, then your products will have Amazon Prime associated with them. So as well as getting the customer support and the trust and all of the customers, you also get Prime. So far, it seems like it seems like it's pretty good. Why wouldn't you sell on Amazon? And the one of the best things is the ease of setting it up. Setting up a product on Amazon is so easy. You put in the information in the right places. You put the images there, you put the price there and the website's already done for you. You don't have to do any web building. You don't have to do anything like that. All the information is there for you. And obviously, if you do FBA, the picking and the packing is all there for you as well. You don't have to do any shipping, anything like that. It's all done for you without you having to lift a pen, apparently, because I just lifted a pen. So that are the benefits of Amazon. Let's talk about the benefits of our website and see which one is better. Firstly, the biggest benefit to a website is the profit margins are going to be so much higher. And I'm talking about a ridiculous amount higher. I did recently uh, a, a I, I looked into all of our numbers just to go through it again, like, a, like a, an updated, I wanted to go through it and update everything. Our numbers on Amazon show about a 39 to 42% profit margin, give or take a couple of percent, depending on a few factors, right? That's not bad, it's pretty good. However, on our website, it's a 74 to 76% profit margin. That is a drastic improvement and that is an insane amount of money. It's just, it's ridiculous how much more money it is. So in that sense, yes, it's really, really good. However, however, with your website, you don't have an audience, you don't have anyone visiting, you have to advertise. So if that advertising is gonna cost more than 30% that your profit margin differs, then is it really worth it? Probably not, I'm gonna be honest with you, it probably isn't worth it. However, if you can get your website to become some sort of, not a viral thing, but if you make ads that get shared enough times so that your website's getting a lot of free visits, it could end up being a lot more worth it because your profit margin will go back and increase just a bit more. So what other pros do you have by selling on your website? Well, you control your reviews. This is a good one. And I know you're probably thinking, well, that's a bit, that's a bit wrong. That's a bit of a scam to do that. Now, I don't mean get rid of the bad reviews. I mean, you control the reviews in terms of you're not going to get people, competition coming and leaving negative reviews like you do sometimes with Amazon. You're not going to get people leaving stupid reviews or swearing reviews or hateful reviews or anything like that. You can control what people see. Now, if you really want, you can control that they only see the best reviews, but I do believe that's a bit wrong. You, you, want, you, you want a, a trustworthy kind of deal going on here. If I, if I come to your website, the probably it's not realistic if every single review, all 500 reviews are five star. There will be a few one or two star reviews in there and I wanna see them. 
it's not going to stop me from buying, but I want to see them. Okay. So that is another thing. You control the reviews. The next thing is you control the customer service. Now I know what I just said is Amazon's customer service is the best. It's so good. However, you can control your customer service. You can be as good, if not better than Amazon. Why not? You can offer a 90 day money back guarantee instead of a 30 day money back guarantee. You can offer a, a, a no problem returns. You don't even have to return the product to us. You can keep it and we'll give your money back. Well, that's how much we believe in our product. You can have the best, you can have the best customer satisfaction ever, right? I know Amazon is great, but you control yours so you can make yours really, really good. The next one is you can still have your product fulfilling through Amazon or through any third party fulfillment center. So you don't have to actually go and ship it yourself. This will cost you a bit of money, but I worked this out with our profit margins and it still was over 70%. This, that was the 74% with, with the Amazon fulfilling our product. So you can still have Amazon fulfill your product. It won't be with Prime, but they will uh, house it in their warehouses and they will pick it and they will pack it and they will ship it when you get a sale, okay? So at the moment, it's not fully automated. There is a way to do it automated with Shopify, but the way we do it, it's not automated. We do it manually, which again, it only takes a couple of minutes. It's not the end of the world. It's not like we're getting a crazy amount of sales on a website. At the end of the day, the hardest bit of this whole business, which is the fulfillment part of it, you can still outsource to a third party company very, very easily. The page, your product page is fully customizable. You can do whatever you want to it. You can add videos, you can add images, you can add however many images. There is no rule on those images. There's no rule on those videos. You can have whatever description you want, whatever length you want. You just fully control the page, right? So you can test all these different types of pages to see which one converts the best. With Amazon, maybe they've already done these tests, well, they have already done these tests to see which pages convert well, but you could probably get a better converting page than Amazon for sure. In fact, you could even mimic Amazon's page within your website, but I don't recommend doing that because I recommend trying something new. And finally, you have no risk of losing your account. With Amazon, there's always that risk at the back of your head that you could potentially lose your Amazon account. and that's just not a risk I want to uh, be thinking about really. So selling on your own website, you don't have that risk. You control the website, you control the narrative, you control everything. So that in my mind is a huge benefit of selling a website. So what are the drawbacks? So there are a few drawbacks. You, it, it is harder to set up. You've got to set up the website. You can use stuff like Shopify or WooCommerce, anything like that. You can integrate it into your WordPress website. You can integrate it into your Squarespace website, whatever you want to do. It still, it costs a bit of money, but then again, Amazon costs a bit of money as well. So it's not the end of the world. Amazon's 25 pounds a month. So it's, it's, it's not that noticeable. And what else? The traffic, you've got to drive all the traffic. You've got to drive traffic from whatever advertising sources to your like website really. And the thing is, if you are able to build up a social media following, then selling on your website is a hundred times better than selling on Amazon because you're going to get all of this free traffic going to your website, tons and tons of free traffic, which will only increase your profit margins. So in conclusion, what is the conclusion of this? Personally, I believe the future is selling in your own website. Okay. Not selling on Amazon, selling on your own website. Now, by all means, get started selling on Amazon. And I will always tell you, get started selling on Amazon but eventually move to your website, which is another reason why I love our training because I feel like we're one of the only courses where we're discussing this, we're talking about this, especially in the weekly, the bi-weekly video, uh, bi-weekly course that we're doing. And we're in the process of adding a whole section about selling on your own website. We are just fully testing out all the, the methods and everything ourselves first so we can properly teach it. But I do believe that selling on the website is going to be huge. And one of the biggest things about selling on your website is it allows you to actually build up a real brand. And it's so much easier to sell your own website, your own brand than it is to sell an Amazon business. So you've got to think of the future. You've got to think ahead. And I personally think Amazon, I personally think, sorry, your website is the future. However, if you are new, get started on Amazon first, see what works and then slowly move to your website. There is no rush. Don't worry. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in tomorrow's video.